Hey, it's Savvy Nick here, and for this video, I thought I'd switch it up a bit and talk about the differences between Debian and Ubuntu flavors of Linux. The first major difference is when each was introduced. Debian was first introduced in 1993. Ubuntu was first introduced in 2004 and is a subset of Debian. Debian does not follow a strict, stable, unstable release cycle. The releases kind of happen as the community develops them whereas stable releases of Ubuntu can be expected every two years in April. Debian has more available architectures, meaning it can be installed on more systems than Ubuntu. Some of those supported on Debian and not on Ubuntu include ARM EL, MIPS, MIPS 64 EL, MIPS EL, PPC 64 EL, and S380X. Debian packages come from two separate repos but use the same package management system. Ubuntu pulls from the same package management system and then adds more features if necessary, as well as focuses on making the end user experience more friendly. As far as the desktop interfacing GUI goes, Debian is bare bones and is not focused on the end user. Ubuntu, however, is designed around the end user and makes it a clear focus. People have a much easier time going from other platforms such as OS X or Windows to Ubuntu. The communities are focused on two different things. The community for Debian is more focused on the technical aspect of development and the advanced users that come with it. The Ubuntu community is focused more on a user-friendly experience and the beginner users or platform transitioning users for a pain-free way to switch. So who runs Debian? Debian is strictly controlled by its community of developers and has no corporate entity. Whereas Ubuntu is controlled by a company named Canonical. As far as software or firmware goes, Debian only offers free software drivers and firmware. That makes it lightweight and doesn't require as powerful as a computer to run. And Ubuntu offers all free and proprietary software drivers and firmware. The advantage here is Ubuntu allows some proprietary software and drivers which make the user experience better and allows the system to be more flexible with different types of hardware. Installation is similar on both. They both offer a graphical and non-graphical way to install, including a net installer version, which are compressed images that allow you to start to install quicker and pull down packages while running the installer. When installing Debian, you'll get asked more questions about how you want to set up your system. It's really geared towards advanced users. Well, those are the main differences between Debian and Ubuntu. In conclusion, Debian is developed around the thought of giving a lightweight and minimal experience to advanced users who don't need all the bells and whistles that most platforms offer to everyday users. It's used for development. And Ubuntu is developed and tailored to beginner users who enjoy having a nice user-friendly interface to go to and don't care about the raw gains from stripping down the platform. They both have their advantages and disadvantages. And that's up to you to weigh those and choose which better suits you. Are you a more advanced user and only care about the minimal installed tools and user interface? Or do you enjoy having something that is user oriented and has an easy to use interface? So pick one and let me know in the comments below which one you picked and why. Also, if you enjoyed this video summarizing the differences between the two flavors of Linux, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And also let me know if you'd like more of these videos or have any questions. Thanks for watching.